Uh, all right, welcome everyone to the 8th Annual Minds Matter Mental Health Resource Fair. Strive to Thrive is our theme. Thanks everyone for coming. People are always talking about how there's no mental health resources in Shasta County and there's nothing here and people are struggling and uh, there's just this great um, uh, void of resources when actually there's a lot more than people realize. We're not saying there's necessarily enough but there's a lot more out there. It's just people need to get the word out. People need to learn about what is available, find the right information. And so Minds Matter is just about bringing all those resources together in one place. So the whole community, uh, no matter what their issue is, whether it's just learning to reduce stress, eat a little better, or learning to manage a severe mental health problem, that um, they can find a little assistance, find some resources that might help them out. I'm actually really excited to see all of the awareness. Uh, first of all, I'm bipolar, so I have that to um, to really struggle through sometimes, and it's really hard to educate the ones around me to um, pretty much how to handle me or handle others. Uh, it's a, it's unfortunately it's a disease that's shrouded with a lot of. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? People think that, that everyone's just grumpy all the time. They don't really understand the different levels of, of our disability. So it's really great to see uh, a lot of the vendors not only bringing their own information about you know how they can help any mental health, but that I go to each one and they actually have a mental health brochure, just awareness. And that actually is really cool. Like, I got a lot of great stuff too. Each year we try to do a few special things to make, uh, make it not just uh, an educational event, but also something that's fun and, and inspiring. And uh, in one of the spare office spaces here, we have a local artist who uh, created these, um, at a screen door, she created these silhouettes of real life homeless people and she pasted them to the walls and, um, and their stories behind them and it's kind of meant to debunk myths about why um, people become homeless. There's a physician named C.G. Jung and he came up with the idea of the human shadow, which is that part of our psyche that um, is a repository for things that we uh, that are a part of us but that we don't really like um, so we pretend to ourselves uh, that we it doesn't uh, it's not us um, but then we tend to see that trait or traits in other people and it pushes our buttons so if um, I'm a person who's worried subconsciously about being bossy and I encounter other people that I perceive as bossy I will judge them so it's my idea not Jung's that we also have a collective if we have a collective uh, unconscious we also have a collective shadow and what I think maybe is in that collective shadow is things like homelessness or human trafficking so we tend to judge that and think of it in terms of a, a us them, separate from ourselves, not a part of us, and then we um, can reject the people that we see as homeless or mentally ill um, and think that it doesn't apply to us, it's not our problem, it's not um, something we even want to look at because it's something, it's a shadow. And we also had the Thundering Moccasins powwow dance troupe. <laughs> And they do um, educational performances about the history of powwow dancing and they also talk about uh, the need to break down stereotypes and other stigmas and, and how um, dancing and productive activities help keep them well. I felt really um, like my hope for community at large increased, seeing um, all the hearts of all the different booths here and what they're offering. And we also had um, a presentation by a group of Anderson New Tech students who um, spent three months studying um, mental health issues among youth and came up with a policy proposal to reduce depression and reduce suicide rates among high school students. Because about 11% of adolescents have mental illness by the age of 18. You know, this is a success today in my mind because we have the most exhibitors here as we've ever had. I think we probably broke a record for the amount of people who attended. And I think, um, you know, that just means that we're getting bigger, mental health is becoming a bigger topic on more people's minds, and it means um, more people are want to know what can help them and what can help their family members, and that's huge. It feels like people that have uh, obstacles and challenges are going to be less likely to fall through the cracks because all of these people are like a safety net holding them up. Yeah, I feel more hopeful and more faith in our community.